Yeah. Okay. Are you ready, ready to read the story? Uh-huh. Say, are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Let's lay down. Hey, he, he, wants to, he gets to lay on down too because he's not sick. Okay. Once upon a time. Oh. Does this start off as once upon a time? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. ah! oh, you're right. Look. It says once upon a time. No. No. This. This one. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Okay. Let's Where's the ah? Let's lay down. Ready? Come on. You gotta come over here. Ew. Come on. Once upon a time, in a little house in the woods, there lived a family of bears. They were Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Little Wee Bear. Every morning, the bear family sat down to eat breakfast. And every morning, their breakfast was the same. A bowl of porridge. But one morning, no one was able to eat any porridge at all. This porridge is too hot. Papa Bear exclaimed. After tasting a bite from his great big bowl, Mama Bear took a small nibble of her bit of porridge from her medium-sized bowl. This is the porridge. What did Mama Bear say? Oh dear, this it is too hot. <clears throat> Little Wee Bear, who loved porridge more than anything, took the biggest bite he could from his little wee bowl. When Mama and Papa looked at him, he tried to say, My porridge is just right. But because his mouth was so full, it sounded like, My porch has a bus light. Hmm, mm, said Papa Bear. I know what we'll do. Let's go for a walk. By the time we come back home, our porridge will be perfect. So Papa Bear grabbed his hat, and Mama Bear grabbed Little Wee Bear's hand. Little Wee Bear tried to grab his bowl of porridge, but Mama Bear was already out the door. Off they lumbered down the path. The Bear family was hardly out of sight when a little girl with yellow curls came skipping rope down the path. She skipped right up to the little house pounded on the door and saying, Yes! Yeah, that's a little girl. She said, Cha-la-la-la and tee-hee-hee. Won't you come and jump with me? <laughs> of course, no one was home. So no one answered. The little girl, whose name was Goldilocks, tried again. Hey! She banged on the door and this time it flew open. Goldilocks skipped into the living room without missing a step. When she saw the three bears chairs, she chanted, Big chair, medium chair, little chair too. Somebody here to bounce on you. Goldilocks pulled herself up on Papa Bear's big chair and jumped. Which one's Papa Bear's chair? Oh, no, that's Mama Bear. This one's Papa Bear. She jumped. Uh-oh, what do you think happened? Break! Oh, I think you, that could break. You're right. Good job. This chair has no bounce at all. Next, she climbed on Mama Bear's medium-sized chair. But as soon as she tried to stand up, she sank right down inside. Oh, look. Where'd she go? She went, look. She went inside the chair. She said, this chair makes me feel so small. Now what chair is she going to sit in? What, sh what chair is she going to sit in? Mm. Or is she going to bounce in? Like the oh. chair. She bounced in the wee bear's chair. 
Then Goldilocks looked for the little wee chair for little wee bear and grinned. But that chair looks like it's just right. I'll jump me up an appetite. She climbed up on the little wee chair. She jumped and the chair bounced. Goldilocks jumped and bounced, jumped and bounced until she jumped right through the seat of the little wee chair. That he is broken. She broke it. Oops, it Daisy. What a mess. <laughs> bounced a little too much, I guess. But she hopped right up when she saw the three bowls of porridge on the table and started skipping rope again. Porridge, porridge, sitting in the bowl. I'm gonna eat until I'm full. Uh oh, what is she gonna do? <laughs> Goldilocks tasted a spoonful of porridge from the great big bowl. Ouch! She spit out the huge mouthful of porridge. This porridge is too hot! Next, Goldilocks helped herself to a spoonful of porridge from the medium-sized bowl. She shivered. Ooh, this porridge is certainly not... Then Goldilocks tasted a spoonful of porridge in the little wee bowl. Yum, yum, she mumbled. Finally, this porridge tastes just right to me. Goldilocks ate and ate until there wasn't even one bit left in the big little wee bowl. Then she let out an enormous yawn. Goodness, I'm a sleepy head. I think I'll jump right into bed. Goldilocks skipped up the stairs. When she saw Papa Bear's great big bed, she climbed up and flopped back on the pillow. Immediately, she sat up, rubbing her head. This feels like a big old brick. She climbed onto the silky medium-sized bed that was Mama Bear's. But as soon as she lay down, she slid off the end of the bed and bounced onto the floor. This bed here is much too slick. Then Goldilocks spied Little Wee Bear's bed. Oh, I hope with all my might that this wee bed will be just right. Goldilocks tucked herself in the cozy little bed with her jump rope curled up beside her. Soon she was sound asleep. Meanwhile, Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Little Wee Bear were just returning from their walk. They were very hungry, but when they saw that the door to their house was open, they stopped. Oh, how strange, said Papa Bear. Do you think someone's inside, said Mama Bear. Maybe it's a wild beast, Little Wee Bear squealed. The bear family hurried into the living room. There was no mistake about it. Someone's been sitting in my chair, exclaimed Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Mama Bear. Look! Little Wee Bear's eyes grew very big as he pointed to the mess on the floor. Something's been sitting in my chair, too, and broke it to bits. Maybe it was a monster. Then the three bears saw the table. Somebody's been eating my porridge, roared Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, wailed Mama Bear. Little wee bears looked sadly at his bowl. Something was eating my porridge. I Mommy, think it was an Mommy, alien. Mommy, the chair's broke. Yeah, it's broken. The three bears crept over to the little wee bed. When they saw Goldilocks, they were very frightened. It's a wild beast! Papa Bear growled. It's a monster! Moaned Mama Bear. It's an alien! Little wee bear whispered excitedly. The bear family didn't know what to do. Finally, Little Wee Bear reached out and poked the jump rope. 
Goldilocks' eyes popped open. You see your eyes pop open. <laughs> Look. Oh. <laughs> Try the three bears. <laughs> Try Goldilocks. Then she threw off the covers and sprang out of bed. Pardon me if I don't stay. Don't feel like jumping away. Mommy, I want Goldilocks leapt out the window and ran away before the three bears had even stopped yelling. <laughs> <laughs> the bears watched until Goldilocks was out of sight. I declare, Mama Bear exclaimed, I'm so upset I couldn't eat a bite. Papa Bear looked at Little Wee Bear, and Little Wee Bear looked at Papa Bear. We could, they said. Hmm. Mama Bear rolled her eyes, but she mixed up another huge pot of porridge anyway. And this time, it was just right. You say just right. That's right. The... And good job. High five.